This is something I've been trying to film for years. Something I've seen captured in slow motion only a few times before, an earwig in flight. At first glance, it's easy to miss that earwigs even have wings. That's because they carry them around, folded up, and hidden underneath a small pair of hardened forewings. Watch as this one unfolds and reveals its wings. Wing folding in earwigs is one of those magical fun facts in the Insect Hall of Fame. There are about 20 or so different fold lines in the wing, and they fold up to be 10 times or more smaller than when they're outstretched. No other animal wing comes close to this type of complexity. And the species I filmed, a shore earwig, seems to just use a single down and up stroke of the wing to throw it all open and snap it into place. I don't think I've ever been more excited to have captured an insect flight sequence than I was when I finally got this. Seeing these wings in action at 6,000 frames per second is amazing to me. I'm glad I finally found a species that would cooperate and fly in front of the camera. While those earwig clips are some of my favorite of the past year, I've also filmed a bunch of other new insect flight sequences. And now that it's December, there aren't too many insects out there and flying around. So I won't be filming more of these until next spring. So I put this together to show you some of my favorite captures of the past year, ones that haven't yet made it into a video. This is a tree cricket. They employ some impressive wing folding too, as the hind wing is stored through a series of fan folds. Once the wings are up, a big jump sends them into a flight. I filmed grasshoppers and katydids before, but these are the first true crickets to make it into a video. Next is another type of insect that hasn't yet appeared on this channel, a trichopteran, or what's better known as a caddisfly. This is a northern caddisfly, which is the name for a family of more than 300 species. I filmed these sequences and some others in this video over the summer in a makeshift studio in my mother-in-law's basement. And you can see evidence of that in the dusty bits of cobweb stuck to the rear tarsal claws of the one on the right. Here's another caddisfly from a different family, a giant casemaker caddisfly. The casemaker part of the name refers to the aquatic larvae which construct spiraling cases out of plant material. These adults are brightly colored active flyers around the aquatic habitats they grow up in. These are oak tree hoppers. A spring-loaded kick from their hind legs sends them into a flight. For the one on the left, slipping while jumping sends it into a flip, but it's quickly controlled and steadied with the wing beats. Some tree hoppers, like these, go through a warm-up routine before taking flight. They flap for a bit, rocking their bodies up and down. And compared to the oak tree hopper, they seem to manage their spring-loaded takeoff jumps a lot better. Pulled back, here's a look at both those species. Their flight trajectories are wildly different. The oak tree hoppers start with a chaotic spin, and the green tree hoppers with their keeled helmets arc upwards and end up in an inverted flight. Speaking of inverted flights, this is a wheel bug flight that starts out great, but ends up in disaster. One thing you'll see that's interesting about this clip is when the wings come into contact with the platform. You'll see them bend and absorb the impact, demonstrating some impressive material properties. This is also something I've been trying to film for years. Not because it's hard to get a crane fly to fly, but because it's hard to find them and then wrangle them in front of the camera with all their legs intact. 
This one, a hairy-eyed crane fly, amazingly still has all six of its legs attached to its body. It's incredible to see how much airspace it takes up in flight. The front legs extend nearly a whole body length out in front, and the middle and hind legs do the same to the sides. In the air, it's like a flying spindly cobweb. This is a yellow-collared skate moth. There are a bunch of subtle details to admire on this moth. For instance, the transparent middle portion of the hind wing and the slight glimmers of iridescent blues and greens that reflect from the scales on its body when it maneuvers through the air. This moth is a roadside sallow. Here in North Carolina, it's one of the few big moths you can find flying around in the colder parts of the year. Some sallows even overwinter as adults. This one came to a light in my backyard in early November and will probably be the last moth I filmed this year. Lastly, here's a natural enemy of moths, a braconid wasp, belonging to a subfamily known for attacking moth eggs. They use their long ovipositors to inject an egg into a developing moth. They're what's known as coinobiont parasitoids, which means once they're in their host, they allow it to develop and grow larger before eventually consuming and killing it from the inside. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all those flight sequences. And thanks for being here and watching these bug videos with me.